we're in a time of enormous change, and it's a change that requires us to come up with new solutions and new ways of being in the world and new ways of relating to each other. And there are no places for that to happen except places like art hives. I think an art hive is an opportunity for people to come together in community for their own creative expression. Ça défend une idée de l'art comme une pratique qui est accessible à tout le monde. Un endroit où est-ce que la communauté se rejoint dans un, un lieu de non jugement. To create something that feels good, it, it brings joy, not in what I'm making, but in the process of it. These days, people they don't know their even next door neighbors. When I was six, I had a really good friend. Um, who was a 65-year-old homeless guy. And like, I don't really know in any other situation where that would happen, you know, where that kind of relationship could grow. And I strongly believe that these connections will even change your nervous system, like your neurons, new paths will be created because of these connections. And they do matter for a long, long term. Art hives are the sharing of heart art, heart, there's A-R-T in the word heart, knowledge from the depths of the unconscious and conscious, humane spirit. On sait maintenant avec la recherche que euh, les liens sociaux positifs euh, font la promotion d'une bonne santé mentale. For us, it breaks our isolation. It brings us together. Come, meet the people. Uh, who are living with HIV. They don't have to tell their status, but come and meet the people involved with the HIV AIDS uh, milieu. And you'll see that we're people. We are people just like you. As a person who deals with accessibility issues all the time and doesn't have that space yet, it's kind of a dream space. I think art hives or this kind of uh, initiative will save the world. It's the only thing, <laughs> because we are destroying everything. And uh, it connects the human beings. I think the archive let human beings be human beings.